What's up everyone, TJ here. Today we're out snowboarding in Cardrona, New Zealand. And I wanna talk about five of my personal favorite butter tricks that I think you guys will have a good time trying. These are gonna be a little bit more challenging, but I'm gonna go through what they are and give you my best tip on how you can try them as well. Let's get into it. Okay, the first one I want to mention in this video is my go-to butter. I've been doing this one for literally over a decade, and it's a progression off a back one, cab one. So we're all rotating in the same direction, and it's going to be back one, switch tail press, cab three. And really the more difficult part about this that might sound a little intimidating is doing the cab three but I promise you it is way easier and more natural feeling that you think your momentum just spits you right into that cab three. The biggest tip I got is just snap a little bit harder off the tail and throw your shoulders just a little bit more to get that cab three around, but it's a very natural feeling one. All right. So I like to come in on my toe edge to pop that back one, land in that switch tail press, and just pop a little bit harder to get the cab three around. I think the more you lean into that switch tail press, the easier it is to pop that one. Another one I've really been enjoying lately is a Nollie back one tail drag. The tail drag just adds a little bit of style to it and it feels really, really good. You're gonna to wanna to have nollies and backside 180s down first. And really, once you pop that nollie, you're just rotating your shoulders uphill to get that backside 180 going and slap that tail on the snow. Again, pressuring the uphill edge to drag it around and kind of like spread the snow on the slope and give it that butter look. This one's super simple. You can do it really anywhere and just adds a little bit more style. These are actually a lot of fun going faster once you get comfortable with it. But we're just gonna come in, pressure it on our toe edge, pop that nollie, slap the tail down, drag it around, and that's it. Super fun one for you. The more energy you put into that nollie, the better this one's gonna feel. Another one I really enjoy and that really challenges your edge control as well as being able to balance on the tip of your snowboard is a front 360 nose roll. So for this one, we're coming in with a decent amount of speed on our heel side edge, and we're gonna pop off of our back foot, but keep that nose pressured into the snow. So you're kind of pointing your front leg to keep that nose down and rolling around on the snow is the goal, landing on our toe side edge. I think the two biggest tips I can give you guys for this one is actually pointing your front leg towards the snow to keep that nose on the ground and really paying attention to your edges, always making sure that your uphill edge has the weight on it so you don't catch. Also, if you can do a nollie front three, that can be a good progression to work up to this one to get used to that kind of front three rotation off the nose. It's another fun one to try as well. All right, so we're gonna pick up a little bit of speed, come in on a heel side carve, pop off the back foot, and keep that nose down and try to land on our toe side edge. The harder you pop off that back foot, the more vertical you're gonna be able to get that one and the better it's gonna look. That one's really challenging. Another one I've been enjoying lately that I think really challenges just your overall board and edge control is a back 180 tail drag to switch back 180 tail drag and trying to do that as quickly as possible. So for this one, I do like a two footed pop, but definitely heavier on the front foot and pressure the tail of the snowboard to keep it in contact with the snow the whole time as you're doing the 180s. Definitely be very cautious of your edge control and the hardest part with this one is landing that first back one locked in your toe edge so you can immediately do the switch back one. Let's try a couple right here. It's nice to have a little bit of speed for these and just remember, try to land locked in on the toes. Hope y'all have fun with this one. This one's super tricky, but it's a good one. All right, guys, the last one I wanna mention is the MFM butter. 
popularized by Mark Frank Montoya. That's where the name comes from. This one's tricky. This one's got some footwork involved. So we're doing basically a nollie frontside 180. But instead of just doing that, we're gonna shifty back, slap the nose on the snow, and then drag it to your switch stance. You wanna do it as fast as possible and get the board as vertical as possible. That's gonna be the MFM. These are tricky, but uh, if you can get them down, they're really, really sick. Let's see if we can do one. So we're gonna come in off a slight heel side edge, nollie as hard as you can and try to get that board vertical. The way to make it look the best, in my opinion, is to really try to get that shifty back to your regular stance before you swivel, but this one's challenging. That one is super tricky, but super rewarding once you get it down. A really fun one to do over rollers. And when you feel good about that, you can take it one step further and try the MFM 270, where you swivel it all the way back around to your regular stance. Hope this video gave you guys some ideas on some new butter tricks you can try out there and progress that flat ground type of riding. Just get more comfortable with your edge control and just more comfortable with your board in general. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Drop a like if you got some value. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I appreciate you guys. Hope you're having a great season. We'll see you next time. Oh, dude, no, we can't put that, we cannot put that in the video.